times are changing Hey, build your hopes on things eternal Oh, to God, son, change it Hey, one more time Why don't you just hold Good evening, everybody. How are you doing? I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Please hit the share button. Let everybody know. For those of you all who may be joining us for the first time, welcome to Hymns with Philip Carter. This is Sunday Night Hymn Praise. This is one of the most active groups you ever want to be a part of. If this is your first time, you can check us out all throughout the week. Um, every morning, 7.30 in the morning for morning devotion is 20 minutes of song, scripture, and prayer. And on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sunday nights, we have hymn praises, and of course, we infuse worship songs in with that as well. So thank you for joining us. Let everybody know. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Let everybody know that we are on. Listen, this, when you start talking about dreams coming true, this is a dream come true tonight. First of all, let me just say I have my sister, Melody Lovely, here with me tonight. She is one of the most awesome, anointed um, uh, women of God, just musicians, period, that you ever want to meet. She has been a regular on this program. I want to thank her so much for joining me tonight. And her mentor, and indirectly she has mentored millions of people, including myself, um, Dr. Margaret DeRoe is here with us tonight. And without further ado, I'm going to bring up Dr. DeRoe and Melody. Hey. Hello, hello, hello. Here. I'm so glad to have you. Melody, first of all, hello to you. You can unmute yourself. Hello and good evening. Good evening, good evening. And Dr. Margaret DeRoe, hello to you. Hello, everybody. Glad to be here. Such there a are blessing. There are a lot of people on here already, and I'm sure that they're, they're excited as I am uh, to, uh, to have you here tonight. Dr. DeRoe, you have had uh, just a marvelous career, and you are still writing and still doing some marvelous things. Yeah. Um, just tell us, just briefly, how did you get started? You know, my testimony to the world is that God will use a jackass if you're available. And <laughs> I just had the worst choir in the world, I think, as y'all young adults, they were getting married and getting pregnant and looking for a job and going to school. And they were just hard to work with. And I guess the attitude started building up in my spirit. I was young and couldn't understand why my daddy made me do this choir. And I just sat at the piano and the Lord gave me this song. Give me a clean heart and mm. so I can serve you because otherwise I'm in trouble. I don't know how many people have been in situations at church where you felt like you're being mistreated and abused. But God gave me that song and without me even paying attention to it because it wasn't for them. It was for me to create and be a clean heart and renew within me a right spirit. I'm going to let you navigate with us tonight how you want the songs to go um, whenever you want us to jump in. But I, I'm glad I'm glad you told me that uh, that story about it. that's a hymn story right there. We, we've done a hymn. No, we haven't done a great critic, but we haven't done Give Me a Clean Heart yet. But you just helped me to do one. We do okay. hymn stories on my page as well. So that's that's good information. Um, you, you, you know how many young people have been beat down in choir rehearsal 
Yeah. Uh, choir rehearsal has always been a challenge because there's so many people in there who want to be the star or the star or the soloist. And God has to make you ready to serve him and be able to stand in the midst of those storms. So, yeah, Give Me a Clean Heart probably should be a, a choir director song because <laughs> they don't <laughs> be playing at church. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. Still to this day. Can we get Melody to, 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 to uh, do a little bit of that real quick? Do it, Mel. Just so long as I can do it in the key, I can sing it in. And then I wrote it in E flat, but you have never done it perfectly in my keys. Do it in your key. <laughs> Hold on just a second. I'm having technical difficulty over here in Atlanta. It's Perfect. all right. You're coming through, just give us some old. I was just playing with you. <laughs> Give me a clean heart so I may serve, serve thee. Lord, fix my heart so that I Thank you, Melody. So, yeah. Dr. DeRoe, how old were you or um, when, when that song came to you? Well, um, I was married, so I must have been in my early 30s or my late 20s. I was married going, and, and, um, going to church with my dad who gave me this choir. I don't know why he did that, but he gave me that choir and an orchestra. <laughs> Is that right? You had an orchestra way back then? Yes. Wow. <laughs> and uh, he built a pit for the orchestra, and we went up and down on the orchestra thing. But that song shocked me as it shocked everybody else because I was not familiar with composition or people writing songs. I just wrote it and taught it to my choir. So it shocked me that the Lord blessed it. He had a message for every choir member there. So are you, um, take us back to your, well, first of all, you, before this broadcast started, you told me you've been married 55 years? I think it's 57. Don't tell my husband, but I think it's 57. <laughs> that is amazing. He knows, he knows the details. <laughs> He's been sick lately, so keep yeah. him in your prayers, Melody. We 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 um, we we're, we're all gonna pray for him because we have a prayer group that meets every every day of the week. Please pray for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Pray for him. But and I'll while keep you're up with the dates, I'm telling you that. <laughs> okay, and while you're at it, so I've been married almost 20 years. So give praise me praise God for your generation. One, so, give, give me one nugget. <laughs> one nugget is. Sometimes take the down. Woo. Mm -hmm. Take wow. the down. Can I jump in right here? Go ahead. Um, so I had the privilege of working with Margaret for years. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. and she and, and I affectionately call him Uncle Donald, although mm -hmm. I call him not. Right, right. And 
I had the privilege of being with them at least out of seven days a week, at least three days a week. That's right. Mm -hmm. And what I loved about their marriage was that although Margaret, I'll just say it this way, Margaret has been the star. I never will forget one Sunday afternoon because we had 3.30 three services. services. Mm -hmm. Almost every Sunday. Mm -hmm. My generation ain't having that. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> Not your generation. They want to go to one. Yeah. That, that afternoon, this sums it up all, Philip. One That Sunday afternoon, uh, Uncle Dom was on to be the theme speaker because in those services, that's when they had the theme speakers. Mm -hmm. And he, I don't know what he was talking about. I don't even know what we were celebrating. But I remember he concluded by saying he was honored to be the husband of the doctor. Oh my. He was talking to young people about how to be married and stay, mm -hmm. I do remember, how to be married and how to stay married and how he, he it was his privilege to be the husband mm -hmm. of the star. I'm, I'm looking for that, I ain't found it yet, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, you it's know, the blessing with this marriage is that I've traveled all over the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, and he's never forbidden me or accused me or denied me. I mean, I, and most of my travel has been without him. Hmm. He's been a few places. He went to Germany with me, but most of the time my husband was at home. Wow. And uh, I praise God for God's perception to give hmm. me that kind of husband because most husbands would have problems. Tra having me travel, having his wife travel like I did. And you're also a minister of music at the time, right? Right. Oh, yeah. That, that, that has its own time schedule 40, itself. 40 or 50 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he let, he let me be. He let me be. <laughs> That's all right. So getting back to your music, uh, what comes first to you, melody or harmony? <clears throat> I mean, uh, lyrics or, or, or a melody, that's what I mean. I think in my situation, they come simultaneously. Mm -hmm. I think I, I, I remember sitting down in the dark and just started playing. He would not come. And I, I don't know exactly how that happened, but the whole song came at one time. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't have a pen. I didn't have a... I didn't have paper sometimes. In fact, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, I, I live a long way from L.A. Melody, you know. Yes. And I was on my way to choir rehearsal, mm -hmm. not knowing what I was going to teach. Mm -hmm. But by the time I got to choir rehearsal, I had written, if it had not been, and I taught it there. Mm. I taught it at choir rehearsal that night. So... God just had a plan for me. Mm. He just uh, not been not for the Lord on my side. Would I be?
Nobody. Y'all trying to take us in over there. Who's over there singing with you, Melody? You got to know, Sunday evening. We uh -huh. are, I, I will put this disclaimer out here. We are socially distant. Okay. <laughs> Two of them are going to find their way to my house on Sunday evening. So. Amen. Yeah, Tell them I, precious, precious. Tell them thank you. Thank you so much for... Yeah. for uh, Philip said, all of you all, Philip said thank you. Is yeah, that John well, Paul? Yes. John Paul just destroyed our broadcast last week. Lord have mercy. He really blessed us. Amen. Yeah. So, now, so Melody, I was wanting to make sure that we did the Lord is speaking. Yes, ma'am. Because I remember writing this song after we had a major earthquake in Los Angeles. Do you, you, you may not remember, but it was the first major earthquake that I remember and the windows were knocked out and people's homes were kind of disheveled. And, and I, I understood for the first time when the Lord speaks, everything has to listen. Mm. And that's part of my message in that song because so many people, even today, while we're going through this pandemic, somebody ain't hearing it. Somebody doesn't understand that God's power is greater than all this stuff that's going on. And they and and and, and they're they're not paying attention. This song says the Lord is speaking. Can't you hear what he's saying? The Lord is speaking. Can't you hear? Do a little bit, Melody. You remember that? The Lord. Yes. Yes. It's in 12. Is me. To you. Yes. Yes. You. To you. The Lord, oh, is me. Me. To you. To you. To you. This is the big fire. Can you hear <laughs> what he said in one oh, 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 Somebody needs to hear that tonight. Uh, don't ignore what's going on. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore the politics. Don't ignore the things that are coming in front of us uh, that we've never seen before. Don't ignore it. Remember, I think another song that I attached a lot of weight to in uh, for choirs is because choir members uh, often have attitudes of grandeur. You know, they they want to be important. They want to sing uh, because preacher likes to hear them sing and because their mama's there and because uh, they feel like they can get the house. They got, they got singers who go from church to church trying to get the house. They can't heal nobody. They can't save nobody. Wow. Uh, they can't even make nobody shout if God tells them to sit there. And, and part of that 
ministry came through trees don't want to be mountains they they just praise the lord they they not looking at uh what the mountains do and they have their own assignment do you know that one melody trees don't want to be mountains what do they do they just praise the lord mountains never are valleys they just praise the lord the sun the moon and stars are happy where are they in their heavenly space and i think that's where choirs get choir members and solo <coughs> excuse me soloists get off track they have an agenda that does not include glorifying the lord try it melody <coughs> trees i'll mute yourself I'm sorry. Trees don't want to be mountains. They just praise the Lord. Mountains never are valleys. They just praise the Lord. in church today uh, somebody's always moving out of their place when you are so lowest uh, I want to be a solo you a speaker I want to be a speaker just sing alto <laughs> just sing alto that's all I called you to do is sing alto <laughs> so praise God Melody what else shall I do oh whatever you want you call it out okay let's do uh, there's a song um uh, that came straight from the scriptures. In Psalms, it says, <clears throat> I was complaining all the time. I had a headache. My money was short. Yeah, I, I can't remember whether it was one, one nine. But it's in there. It says, I complained all the time. I mean, I was just a negative person. They got those at church. They be negative at church. You get to the church and you drive up, you go in the choir stand, somebody going to come up and tell you something negative. <clears throat> and this song says, <clears throat> this psalm says, but when I thought about it, when I got my mind straight, <clears throat> I had to say, thank you, God, for you gave me mercy. Yeah. yeah. That was especially for me. Mm. It, it didn't solve Melody's problems. It solved mine. Mm. mercy that suits my I case. Was, I was in the room when you did that. Oh my God. <clears throat> yeah, it is personal. It was it personal. Was personal. Play it, play it. Huh? Huh? I was there. Did he want to play that for you? Yeah, I'll do it for her. I, 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 I know you probably need a break. <laughs> I, I got it. you. 
So I need mercy mm -hmm. that need suits my case. My case. I, I need, need it, it this minute, this hour. Do the other part, Mel, because I can't remember the other part of it. That's okay. Not, not. Not generalize. Yeah. Yeah. But I need personalized mercy. Not humanized. But I need spiritualized. I would never forget being in the room when that when you when you taught that song, and my and my my best memory was my other mentor that was in the room, Calvin Bernard Rome, and he was sitting there. It was it was I was sitting behind me, and Calvin Bernard Rome just sat there, and a t two tears came down his eye. He just said, "Lord," it privately he didn't know I heard. He said, "Lord, thank you for your mercy." I would never forget. That had such an impact on me to see somebody. What? That's been on stage on they had they had their own moment with God right there. Why you think he said, Lord, thank you for your for, mercy. I for your mercy. We couldn't make it without his mercy. We don't even deserve it. I mean, there's nothing you can do to earn it. He just allows his mercy to reign, even though many of us are disobedient and mm -hmm. you know, we're so arrogant in the gifts that he gave us. And I thank God that he allowed me to realize, uh, um, Melody, you remember that girl named Hall? She wrote a passage, a song from that scripture. Can't think of it now, but that's an important impact for all of us to, to carry, carry in the, in the, in the in choir. choir. Because Be you're not, somebody ought to say you ain't all that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you, you ain't. Can I say something that. real quick? <laughs> Look, if 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 I may say something, you, when you wrote that song, you actually gave us another a spin on mercy. Mm -hmm. It swept across the country because we we say, Lord, thank you for your great, thank you for your grace and your mercy. But you said, no, 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 no. You gave me mercy that suits my individual case. Uh -huh, that thing struck me because I mean I just never heard anybody you know personalize the you know how God talks how God treats us my what I need may not be what you need and that's true that's but he's going to give true. us what we need for our case and we all got a case that's that's the shouting part all right of there. us got a case today tomorrow this minute we got a case <laughs> yeah we got a case so praise God that he allowed us to experience his mercy uh, you know, day by day in this season, I know Melody was telling me, girl, just pray because I need mercy. I need, I'm telling her pray because I need mercy. We all have to have God's mercy. Even those who don't know they getting it, God gives it to them, you know. Yeah. So I'm praising God for that message. 
what else, Melody, should I be co concerned about? There's, there's so much. There's I got you, Melody. Okay, hold on, I got, I got you. you. Okay. Let me just. Let me just uh, uh, all right, go ahead. There's so much that you've written. Um, I don't even know if you've put music to this, but uh, I love that the, the lesson that you did. Shh, excuse me, guys. I love the message that you teach about majoring in minors and minoring in majors. Um, uh, I, you called me one day and you said, hey, I need you to write a, a song, uh, He'll Open Doors. I went to writing. Um, I'm, in, I'm inspired by you. The older I get, the more inspired I become of you and the more in a hurry I am becoming about writing my music and having mm -hmm. fun and teaching it to mm -hmm. the nations and just, just really being about it. I, um, I'm inspired by you, but there's so much music. There's music. Um, one of the songs that you, that you wrote a long time ago I, that I minister all the time is whatever it takes. And you know what, Melody, you bless, do the chorus. Oh, that blessed me so the last time I heard you singing, all I need. Um, all I need is more of you. I need to feel you leading my life. If I have anything that won't let me. careful singing that song yeah <laughs> you have to be careful yeah because some stuff you want to keep <laughs> yeah. i mean you know you just you don't want that to go and uh, the lord says but i need it to go and you say no take it. no mm -mm, not i didn't mean that i, I didn't mean that one <laughs> leave that one in there but uh yeah oh, that's man, a hard this is song good. to this is sing so good that's a hard song to sing. And the last time I heard you sing, it just came alive that some people hang on to stuff. They don't want, you know, it, I, I'm in choir ministry, so I know how how um, long uh, a soprano can be mad at an alto. I mean, you know, during the concert time when they didn't get the solo they wanted, and, you know, oh they, they, didn't, they didn't want... Uh, um, they wanted to be the master of ceremony or something. They didn't get it. They hang on that for years. They they mad with people who 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 lost a, a loved one and didn't invite them to the funeral. They got stuff piled up in them that's nothing but garbage. You have to say, take it out of my life. Yes, if Lord. I have anything that ain't like you, take it out. You know that's self advantage. Self examination you gotta clear up stuff that don't make sense to nobody but you know choir members they have stuff bowed up in them that don't make no sense to nobody you can't do it nowhere but at church yeah. <laughs> it's so, just dr. Jerome, stuff. so dr so dr i'm i'm gonna play i'm gonna gonna either talk about or play a few songs and you tell me tell me what was going on with you or whatever you want to say okay. concerning that All song right. How about this one? I was in the room when you did this. Um, uh, let me let me go back to this thing. <laughs> I 
That Betty wore that out, didn't she? Did, oh my God. <laughs> <coughs> Betty Griffin. Betty Griffin. Listen. Uh. <coughs> that's the first time uh, that the Holy Spirit was so around her, I couldn't get next to her. Mm. I was trying to touch her. Melody, I never experienced anything like that. Well, what happened was <clears throat> Betty and I were chit chatting on the phone. We don't talk often. <clears throat> but she closed her message, her phone call saying, Girl, I'm going to tell you like my mama said. I'm not going to fool with them people because I don't want no trouble at the river. Now, that's what Betty told me. Mm -hmm. She said, I, My mama said that, and I'm just going to let this go. And that song radiated my <coughs> spirit, and then Betty was there to sing it. <coughs> but I couldn't touch her. The spirit of God, wasn't she awesome that day? I never forget it. I me either. I couldn't, Melody, I couldn't. She was standing there and I wanted to touch her, but uh she just the wait, the 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 hard thing about this is that <clears throat> They came to me and told me that song had been scratched and they weren't oh. going to do it. Mm -hmm. And so Betty went home. She went back to the hotel. And I was just there. And then somebody said, you're next. I said, I'm next. Betty's not here. They said they weren't going to do it. <clears throat> and praise God to, that Betty got there in time for us to do that song. Hmm. And it was anointed. I have never felt more of the Holy Spirit filling a room like that. That's that girl fill that room with the Holy Spirit. Hmm. I don't want no trouble at the river. Mm -hmm. Philip, what about, yes, ma'am. This part of you uh, uh, about Margaret um, being under her uh, leadership in music ministry as her organist. One of the, the place where we used that song primarily was at baptism. Mm -hmm. And it was such a blessing to me because my entire life in the Baptist church, you know what we sing when it's baptism. Take me mm -hmm. to the water mm -hmm. and, and whatever else we sing. We got a few songs that we sing that are just basically the, the music that we minister all the time. When she wrote this, the power of God would break out in the baptism. It would break out in the, uh, when she would start leading us in that second verse that says, I don't want no hold up at the river. People had to be carried out. You know, mm. deacons carried people out. People had to yeah. be carried out. Smelling salts had to be applied. It was amazing. <laughs> the power of God would really fall in the baptism. Yes. You, you know, and, 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 and it's a blessing when God gives us songs like that. We don't know which one it's going to be. That's you know, right. It, mm -hmm. It's just going to be like, uh, like the last uh, three to four years, every time I do Eddie Robinson's So Many Reasons to Rejoice, uh -huh. just, so it, many it does, reasons. It doesn't, it doesn't make no sense. It yeah. doesn't. It just goes up in flame. It just goes up. So many it's something about to it's something about that song mm -hmm. that just takes us completely out in church. That's right. Something so, Doctor DeRoe, how about this one? I'm not sure what key. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm playing this in the right key, but that's my song. Oh yeah, this melodies. Follow Jesus. Go ahead and do it for a little bit for me, Melody. I'll stop right there. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> In G, whatever, whatever you, you choose. choose. Follow Jesus. He's got a safe mountain plan. And if he can take you to the top, there's nobody else who can. Don't worry if you cannot see. Learn to trust him and to follow his lead. Don't worry, be it day or night. He's brighter than the brightest light. And if he can take you to the top, woo, there's nobody else who can. 
I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to that, that part. part. My goodness. <laughs> my, my, most of my music is, is choir oriented because, mm. you know, there's so much competition there. And you be trying to go someplace God don't even want you to go. <laughs> and if you have to realize that if he can't take you there, nobody can. Mm. Hold on, hold, hold on, Melly. Let me just, because I'm, I'm playing around with echoes, but go ahead and unmute yourself. I got, I got you. you. I know you want to keep moving. I love this vein that we're in, but I also want to tell you, uh, and I know people know this about Dr. DeRoe, but she is, uh, have you ever seen, I've never, this is, a, working with her is the only place that I had this experience, and I've tried to incorporate it in my, my ministries where I, where I work. And I haven't been as successful as her, but the people who she directed at the time I was working with her were people who she she literally raised them to mm -hmm. work. She knew them. They all knew each other from children. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a director walk up to the choir stand and say, sing beams of heaven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sing close to thee, close to thee. G. Da -da -da -da. Okay, <laughs> that was it. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the <laughs> no order. She she writes her own. She's got catalogs of music. Mm -hmm. But if you ever want to see her in another life, I, I I praise God for the opportunity to watch her do this. To walk up to her choir, and at no time was her choir never not in three to four part harmony, sing any hymn that she called. They have to sing the hymns. Unbelievable. They, they were shouting. They shouted on, um, the cattle are mowing, the poor baby wakes, but the living <laughs> on Jesus lay down. This is my line. I love the Lord Jesus. I love the Lord Jesus. I love, I, I tell you that, that brings joy mm. to my soul to say, I love thee, Lord Jesus. Is that your but favorite I, hymn? What is your favorite hymn? Mine? Mm -hmm. What would, is he asking me that, Melody? Yes, I'm asking, yeah. Uh, I guess my dad and your dad, didn't, didn't your dad sing beams of heaven as I go? Yes. I think that would be one. And this wilderness below, your dad wore me out. Guide my feet in his Turn my midnight into day. And this part, isn't it? I do. How long? How long it will be? Oh, what the future? Oh, what the future? <coughs> oh, but this I know. If Jesus, I shall. Or is it get home? Get home. Get home someday. Yes, God. Marvel today. Philip is going. Philip is going to laugh at us when we're done, Margaret. But today, I have to share this with you. My dad's church celebrated its 50th year anniversary. Oh my, Bethany! No, my dad's church. Moment. Oh. Oh my. That's that remarkable. Isn't that remarkable? Remarkable. Oh. 50 years. That's where I met you when you came to play for Mildred Cunningham. Exactly. And yeah. I had a great time with your daddy at that church. He <laughs> yeah. blessed me. I'll never forget him. Yes. It was remarkable. So Dr. DeRoe, I don't I don't want you to get off the broadcast before we talk about the things that you're concerned about, like your scholarship foundation. Um, my my concern is <clears throat> is that um I, I guess I need to say black America or black Christian America is responsible for the greatest music contribution in our, let me just say world, because mm -hmm. no one can imitate it. No one is able to uh, claim it. Gospel music is unique to 
uh, the people in our churches. I mean, we could sing anything. Melody was just talking about that. But what about the fact that we can sing a meter and people shout on it? Come because on the thing is, is that God has given us a wonderful spirit of being able to transmit the struggles that we've had into music. So my, my goal is to nurture and preserve the music through back, Black America. Now we are building a gospel house. We're very close. A gospel we've been working on a long time, but the Lord said he was going to give it to me. So I don't doubt him. Mm -hmm. I, I know he's going to give it to me. It's been a long time, Melody. You know that. But I still believe that the Lord is going to give us the gospel house. And we're going to nurture and preserve. There's a house of blues. There's a this and that and the other. But I'm praying that God will soon let us build a gospel house where we can put the works of James Cleveland and Thurston Frazier and Sally Martin and Doris Akers, all of those great musicians highlight them in the gospel house. And I believe that those of you who are listening are excited with me because your music has to be, uh, let, let me just say this. I know people are copying what we do, but mm -hmm. we are the originators of the music. Mm -hmm. I've heard some real, real uh, wonderful singers that are not from Black America present our music, but we we birthed it. I mean, James Cleveland and Thurston Frazier and uh, some of the singers that you grew up with birthed gospel music. And I'm praying that we will be able to build this gospel house in the near future. April Parker, Dr. April Parker is in uh, the chairperson of our board, and we have a wonderful program coming up in regards to building the new website and, in, and inducting the people around you who have contributed the music to gospel. So I'm praying that you will be supportive. Heritage Music Foundation, Melody, you have to give April uh, April's, uh, uh, what is it, her, how you reached her? How did you reach April? Yeah, we can put it, up. Mm -hmm, put it up for me and make sure that you have a, uh, a good understanding of this music. It's supposed to be ours. God gave it to us. We sung slave songs. We sung hymn songs, but we adapted them to us. Uh, I was just thinking just a few minutes ago uh, when Melody was talking about Beams of Heaven. We sang all the hymns. Um, I guess uh, white America would sing, What a friend we have in Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, our sins and preach to bear. How would we sing it? What a friend we have in Jesus. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Come know on we'd now. Have to have, we'd have to have it our way. We did it our way, even if they, um, you know, uh, they they may have had some influence. Um, the Fanny Crosby who wrote, "Pass me not, O oh, gentle say." We wrote, mm -hmm. "Pass me not, That's right. O oh, gentle," and you know, it becomes a black expression. It becomes something from our heart, our spirit, uh, our history. You can't just sing uh, a pass me not, oh gentle savior, without experiencing having gone through something. Come on now. You know you have done something that hurt your feelings, that you felt alone. So I'm thinking that the Heritage Music Foundation is one of the most important things that's going on in Black America right now. And stay in touch with Melody because I'm going to make sure she keeps in touch with you to announce, oh, they're giving me a birthday celebration. I don't know when it is, Melody. But it's um, in March. I'm I more know concerned. That. Hmm? I know when it's in it? March. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to, I'm going to get the date. In March. Okay, <clears throat> but Melody, stay in touch with everybody that is doing something uh, on, on the birthday celebration and also make a contribution to the Heritage Music Foundation. Melody knows all this stuff. 
<laughs> well, the information is on the screen. And uh, for those of you all, I want you to please consider making a donation to her scholarship foundation. And we, we have her cash app if you want to bless Dr. De Dr. Tarot De tonight. Uh, mm -hmm. Currently, there are 572 people on this uh, broadcast tonight. Thank you all for tuning in. Please Amen. bless her. Dr. Rowe, you are a living legend. You have been a blessing to all of us, whether you knew us or not. We were just blessed by your presence and ultimately by your music and later on by your ministry. I appreciate it so you know. much. Thank you so much. And, and, and you look and you look good tonight, too. Oh, I'm struggling. I'm, you know, you gotta, you gotta perk up sometime. <laughs> <laughs> now you're gonna you gotta be 80. perk up. You can't just drag around. You gotta perk up. Put some lipstick on, Melody. <laughs> some <laughs> earrings. <laughs> you're gonna be 80 next month, right? Yes, I'm gonna be 80. Mm. Isn't that a miracle? That's God a is able to keep. Mm -hmm. He's able to keep. I have now, three grandchildren and one great grandchild. Mm. Now, my dad told me to ask you a question. I'm not going to. My dad's 83. He said, you got to ask Dr. DeRoe this question. He said, who made you mad when you wrote them verses to I'm glad? Or did anybody, did anybody make you mad? <laughs> uh, my grandmother was a spitfire. Uh -huh. my, my, my dad's mom. Uh -huh. And she used to walk around bawling out people with her hands on her hip. Mm. Yeah, they better be glad I didn't make them. Because I'd show them some things. And that's where I got that from, really. She used to say it all the time. I'm so glad I wasn't there because I would have told him what I really felt like. But mm. I know God is uh, able to keep me from seeing them again because I show sure enough on them. I want to get them. <laughs> Tell him I was I was mocking my grandmother. I'm glad. Tell him now, that. Mm. Now, April told me don't keep you past an hour, so I'm going to try to respect her. I'm going to make sure I respect your time, too. I know you, uh, I don't want her, I want her, I want to have you back. So, uh, <laughs> I, I hung up on somebody, so that's where April's coming. I said, April, I, I'm tired now. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, because what Melly and I are going to do when you um, are off this broadcast, we're going to continue to do some more of your music if you want to hang around and listen to I it. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much, Melody. I love you. We'll be in touch. Yes. And I, I, I don't understand how I uh, um, deem this honor, but I sure enough appreciate you having me on this program. Well, I we appreciate really you. Do. I've been trying to get you for a while. You know, you, um, I knew your husband was sick, so, you know, I, I mm -hmm. backed off. But Benetta, Benetta Townsend, uh -huh. uh, who's my, who, she's my sister. She, so knows, she, everything. Know, she everything. knows everything. She knows everything. Uh -huh. That's right. That's my sister. So she was, you know, she was telling, she was keeping me up to you know, with what was going on. So we're definitely praying for your husband. We're definitely praying for you and your strength. Thank and you your, so and much. Your, and your daughter and your and your entire family, your grandson. He's he's he looks like he is an upstanding young man. He is. He's yeah. he's he's two hundred and thirty-five pounds and six feet tall. Now you know he's gonna correct you because that's not what it's not what he said. What is it, Michael? <laughs> It's 225. 225. Something's right. Something's uh, 225. Right. But he's big, regardless. He's yeah. big. <laughs> he's big. That's well, all I know. Thank you so I much. I love to have him here. He's been a real blessing, a real help. With That's Donald being sick, it's been a real, real help. He he wakes up in the morning with I'm hungry, but <laughs> <laughs> but he's a blessing. Well, anytime yeah. you want to come back here to talk about anything, you have a platform. Uh, there are thousands of people that will be watching this in the next coming days, and so we we are here for you. Thank you. I love you so much for having me. Oh, God bless, bless you. and take care. And if there's anything I can do to help you in this wonderful effort you have, let me know. And tell your daddy, just don't worry about it. I know he's been where I am, <laughs> where I was. I know he's been there. He's, he certainly is because he's take, he takes care of my mother. She has Alzheimer's. So we take oh, care of her yes, every day of the week. So we, we are where you, we understand. All right. Yeah. God, God bless, bless you now. All right. Bye-bye. Melody, that was a, uh, unmute yourself, Melody. Melody, unmute yourself. Okay, there you go. That was an absolute blessing. I'm sorry, what were you saying, Phil? I was saying that was an absolute blessing. Oh, I'm so Thank you. Thank you so much for your influence and making that happen. Yeah, it, it was the, it's the blessing of the Lord that makes us rich. 
That yeah. was just an absolute blessing of the Lord. Amen. And and you 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 look. I owe you some because you because you brought me John Paul too, which was a he was an absolute blessing. And um, yeah, and you and you you come yeah. back every time. I'm so sorry to everybody. Everybody, we just we celebrated John Paul John Paul's birthday. Today. Yeah, today. Yeah, it was John. What was your birthday yesterday? Right, yesterday. And he Happy just, birthday. What's the next song you guys are gonna sing? So <laughs> halfway in here and halfway in there. Yeah. Well, let's do some songs. I know people. There's still a lot of people on here tonight. Let's let's do a few songs. Uh, and I'll I'll do what I know from Margaret Duro. I'll do one song. You do another one, and we'll go back and forth for a minute. Okay. Sure. I would love All right. that. All right. this one. John Paul? Amen. Come on, bless us, sir. Come on, come on. You got it. Come on, come on with, with us. Take 
Right there, I gotta pause. <laughs> yes, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I got a couple too, but I'm a, I'm a, um, I'm gonna go here. Now, for those of y'all, some people were asking which songs I do. I know everybody, I know everybody doesn't know all of Dr. DeRoe's songs. Neither do I. But um, the one before he decided to die was High Praise. The one before high praise was the Lord be praised. Yes. So just in case you need to know that one, those were those songs. Um, what about this one? I recorded this one. Spin on that song. Yes, that's a wonderful song. I am all I am because of Christ in my life. I am all I am because of Him. And I don't even remember the middle of that. But that's a, that's one of the songs I remember. She wrote, I can't, the, the words are escaping me. The last part is so wrong. Yes, I am. All I am. <laughs> yes, all I am. All I am. All I am. All I am. Because of Oh, you're muted. I can't hear you. I can't hear you, Philip. Didn't she write, we should wear a golden crown? I don't think so. Watch yeah, I was, I was researching that song. Every time I researched her name, that, that song, song came, came up. up. Really? Ah, maybe before Maybe before me. Somebody knows out there. Uh, yeah. did, did Margaret Rowe write, we should wear a golden crown? And, and why she's doing that? Uh, um, um, I can feel him moving. Go ahead, take it on. The tree. Uh huh. In the wind and the breeze, I 
That one right there, that takes people out right there. Yes. Yeah, that was the, that was the 80s, the 70s, 80s right there. If God is dead. Yeah, if God is if, dead. What about this one? Tell you about, how about yeah, huh? Yes. Mountain. Yes. Uh-huh. Go ahead and do it. Keep going. That's too hard for you to fly. It came out. Just restart it. It should be right. Yeah. People should be all right. How many of y'all back in? Uh, that was that was Move Mountain. How many of y'all remember this from the GMWA? Come in. Not yours, not yours. <laughs> not yours. Your battle is not yours. Yeah. Amazing. I, I was in the room for that. 
Yes, what about uh, uh, it was another one. Um, uh, hold on. Uh, oh, what shall I render? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. What shall I render? Can you do a little bit of that? Oh my gosh. What shall I render? I, I, was, I don't know what's going on right here. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna be behind you a little bit. song and then Vanessa Bell redid it you remember that that's why I first learned I didn't I didn't uh I didn't know I didn't hear hadn't heard the song until she had re had redone it yeah, yeah. powerful Dr. DeRoe had a, has a pow has a powerful ministry listen thank all of y'all for hanging with us tonight there's so many Margaret DeRoe songs go ahead and put in the chat what's your favorite one we did this last night but go ahead put what's what's your favorite Margaret DeRoe song go ahead and put it in the chat want to say um God bless you to Pamela uh, Jean Davis. She's on here tonight. She blessed us, our souls, mightily in the beginning of the year. And uh, my friend Wendell Woods, who is a historian, Charles Diggins, historian, all these great people. Uh, Pastor Calvin Bernard Rome was on here. I saw his name earlier. Just some, just some marvelous people. And then I got my sister, Melody Lovely. Nobody like you. Bless you, sir. Bless God bless you. God bless you. Well, we're not going to hold y'all, you all. It's, 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 um, we have accomplished our goal for the night. And Melody, what is your cash app if people want to bless you? Ah, it's kind of long. It's hold my on. I'm going to I'm 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 type it in. Okay, it's capital E-W-E-L-L, -L, capital L-O-B-E, capital I-T. You love it. Capital I. What after what was what was, what was after I? T. Okay. So E W E L L L O B E I T. Got you. And I'm getting ready to post it up now. So you all want to be a blessing to Melody Lovely. Here's here's her cash app. She has certainly blessed our souls tonight. Um, I want to thank her for coming along with, with, with Margaret DeRoe tonight. This was truly a special night, a historic night. And I want to thank all of you all for joining us. We're getting ready to sign off here in a little bit. And just, uh, oh, I see their favorite songs they're putting in. But please be a blessing to Melody. Tell John Paul happy birthday. He's 36 years old. He makes me feel old. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> He's oh saying, my gosh! Thank you. I yeah, I'm glad. Out to someone that is, um, I, I, you may have said this. I haven't been on uh, very closely lately. Uh -huh. Been seriously busy, busy. But um, do you know that Damien Price just wrote his uh, his doctoral thesis on Dr. Margaret? Oh, wonderful! And I and I and I, I'm probably an offline conversation, but he may be on here tonight. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! It's also someone who is uh, we we call ourselves the row lovers, and you may, you may do yourself very well. I'm shouting out his doctor. It is it, he wrote it about Doctor Margaret. Well, a, a Damien a Price is one of my Facebook friends. So Damien, if you're on yeah. here tonight, just go ahead yeah. and hit me up. We would love to have you. Absolutely. Um, that that brings me to Brandon Waddles, who wrote his his uh, thesis or dissertation on Thomas Whitfield. Yeah. And, uh, you know, yes. you know, and that's great. That's great. Yes. We didn't do if it had not been. Hold on, I can't go without doing this.
For those of y'all who are new, you're welcome to join our page. We are one big family, the Hymns with Philip Carter page, or our YouTube channel. Uh, we have morning devotions every morning, 7.30, 20 minutes of song, scripture, and prayer. It's a powerful time in the Lord. You're welcome to join us every morning. And on Tuesdays and Thursday nights, we have hymn praise at 10 p.m. And most Sundays, we have it at 9.30 p.m. So you're welcome to join us. Come on, join the family. We do a lot of great things, a lot of great contributors to what we have going on. And uh, we thank you all for joining us tonight. Melody, thank you one more time. You all, please be a blessing to her. And you go ahead and enjoy your celebration with John Paul. God bless you, Melody. God bless everybody. Take care.